Hi gang, thanks for following along. We're out into the next step. As you've probably seen, we've cut all the pieces and that took a while. Uh, I actually blew the count, it was actually over 200 pieces. There were some things I hadn't realized I needed to cut. But you know, everything's done, everything seems to fit. Now we get to the point where we got to cut the hole in the guitar. And that's always pretty critical. You only get one shot at it, so you have to make sure you do everything right. Now I've already programmed everything in the cam machine and it took several hours to program it all. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to do a test cut on MDF wood. Now if you're familiar with MDF wood, it's uh, not even really wood. It's like made out of sawdust and it's really cheap. So if something messes up here, no big deal. This is a, you know, it's probably a the dollar piece of wood. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put the cam machine in and we're going to cut the hole for the main body as a test. And then when I have that, we're going to put all the pieces into the hole in this to make sure everything fits exactly the way I think it should. That way we make sure when the, we're ready to do the guitar that everything's perfect. So let's get started on that. I'm just going to roll over to my cam machine here and I'm going to clamp this piece of wood in. And I'm not too worried about where it goes or anything like that because this is just a, as we said, a cheap, uh, cheap piece of wood. So I'm just going to set this up and get it ready to roll by telling my computer where the stock is. And that looks about good right there. Now just tell it where the top of it is. Now I've told the computer where I want it to start. And now it's going to cut the hole. And it's a very complex hole. And I would hate to be trying to do this by hand. I've done stuff like this by hand and it takes a long time and a lot of very tedious work and the results don't come out anywhere near as good as I can do with the cam machine. So what we're going to do is run the cam machine, let it cut the hole, and then we can go on to the next step. See you then. And that's the finish on the cut. We're just going to get that head out of the way so you can see what's going on. You can see it leaves a lot of dust behind. Some of it I've already sucked up. Let's just suck up a little of the rest of that. Take it out of the machine and take a look. Looks pretty good right now. You can kind of see the shape that it is. Now what I'm going to do with this proof board is we're going to take pieces and just drop them right in and make sure they fit perfect just like this axe head did. You can see it's very little, no wiggle room at all there, it just fits right in. And uh, we're going to cut the rest of the holes right now so we can proof the entire design. Uh, there's still a fairly sizable wolf that's got to get cut 
and the fretboard piece and the little uh, this little raven here that goes up over the over the spike and so let's go take a look at that and make sure that uh, everything fits okay so here's the final proof board and what I'm going to do now is take the pieces off the paper. Remember right now it was just sitting on paper so I could keep it all organized. And I'm going to put, start putting them into the proof board. Now if I've done my design right, everything should fit just perfect. But this is where you get to see those final little things that might cause a problem. And what I'll actually do is if I have a problem, I'll just take a pencil and write down right next to the, on the proof board what needs to be adjusted when we actually go to put it all together. So far everything's fitting like a dream which is the way it should fit. You can see everything fits really nice. I mean look at the look at the fit on that piece. That, that piece is really tight and hence the reason why you know, using a cab machine is perfect because you really can't do that kind of work by hand. You can get really good by hand but you can't get that kind of accuracy by hand. It's, it's, it's impossible. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this, and you can see we have not only the body, but we have the wolf that's going the upper horn, the piece that's going to go on the fretboard, and the little raven here. I'm going to put the raven in right now, because that's just one piece. And he fits just perfect. I don't expect to see any problems, but you never know. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll be able to start just cutting the holes in the guitar. Okay, and this is exactly why we, I make a proofing board. I have found one piece, this little piece here, which is the rain right here on the horse's head. It's got a burr on it. Didn't notice it before. There's a little piece of uh, the wood sticking out here, which did not get quite cut right, so I've got to come in here and just I'm using a Dremel, I'm using a digital Dremel by the way. Digital Dremel is really cool. It's, it's got a LED readout here in the back of the handle. Hopefully you can see that in the light here. And the really cool thing about it is that you can actually set the speed of this digitally I have not found any stores you can buy this at. By the way, this is not a testimonial for the product, but you can't actually buy it straight from Dremel itself, which is where I get them from. And I, I, I have several of these, and I really, really like them. So if you're using a, a Dremel and you don't have a digital one, look into it. Actually, just call the, the, the company and see if you can find them, because I know like Home Depot and stuff, they carry Dremel, they just don't carry this particular model. Very, very nice model. Anyway, now that I've trim that piece back a little, I notice that it fits a lot better. And everything's down on the on the board. This is the proof board, which is what I call this, and um, you can see everything fits in real nice and snug. I had to adjust about 20 pieces though in order to make this all happen. But uh, this is the attention to detail. Just doing this took me about an hour and a half. But it's this kind of attention to detail that leads to a really amazing result. And you got to have patience when you're doing this art form. We're just looking, uh, you can see I do have some, some notes here, including some I've already dealt with. For instance, this one right here says missing piece. And that's another reason why we do the proof. This piece right here, you can barely see it on the video, is a little brown piece right there. When I was putting everything together, it was not there. Uh, it basically was not cut and we just didn't have the piece available so we had to go back and bring out the cam machine and figure out the piece we missed and redo it and we had a lot of problems here with the helmet getting all those pieces of steel in there just right that all had to be redone and a little air here that should be the raw wood and that was not coming up we had to change the program a little and this is all the kind of spot the things you spot when you create a proof board and the reason why I do them. Well now we're going to get exciting. The guitar is in the shop. 
Now we gotta make sure that everything, the holes get all cut correctly and in the correct position. So what I'm doing here is I've got pictures of the inlay. And I'm just gonna cut out those pictures. Not too terribly cautiously, but a little bit. This is where those uh, second grade scissor skills come in handy. And here's my wolf, which goes up by the horn. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do the same thing with the body. You can see I got that printed out here too is I'm going to figure out where exactly on the guitar I want this thing so it looks the best. Which I believe is right about there. Now I'm going to take some rubber cement. You've seen me use this before. Um, this is Elmer's. It's not a promotion for the product. It's just what I happen to have handy. But rubber cement is pretty common and any brand will do. So I'm just going to uh, put some on the back. Rubber cement is perfect for doing anything on paper because it doesn't stick very hard and it comes off and it rubs off. You don't have to sand it off or anything like that. And while you're putting it on, you can slide it around a little bit. So I'm just going to put some rubber cement on. And I'm going to glue this piece of paper where I want our little pooch. And here we are. The guitar, you can see I've got the paper where the body's going to be stripped in. I've taken, I don't know, it's probably taken me a good 45 minutes just to get all the angles right and everything. But uh, it's, all, it's all set up. It's ready to cut. We're going to do the wolf cut on its own later. Uh, so, you know, the fact that there's a clamp on where the wolf is is not a problem. The, we're getting ready to just cut the body out. And so everything is laid out and ready to roll. So now, and this is where that uh, rubber cement comes in handy. Now I just take off the drawing so it doesn't get in the way of the cut. Just like uh, so. A little sticky there. There's a little paper, it's not going to matter much. I'll just get that off a little later. There we go, it's all off. And I'm ready to start the very long, it's probably going to take at least an hour and a half, to cut out the hole here in the body of the guitar. Lots of checks and double checks have all been done, and we're ready to roll. So let's get this puppy started. <laughs> 